is that Satan can be tired. That's a very powerful revelation. Because people faint when they are tired. A man can be defeated and still stubbornly try to lay claims. That's what Satan does. But there is a system that provides weariness to the point that he will even flee. It's a system of resistance. The Bible says resist the devil. You need to know what that resisting is. That there is something a man can do to the devil and you watch him, he watches you and goes. Resist the devil and he will flee. Is, is God speaking to someone tonight? Because we need to come out of this conference full of faith and convictions. Some of you need to run and go back home and say, this is it. I, I wrote my prayer points and edited some out of unbelief. I'm adding them back. I'm adding them back and I'm reducing the time for their manifestation. Because something about the knowledge of God has entered your spirit. Look at what happened to people in the Bible every time they had dimensions of encounters with God. It changed their perspective. Ah, look at David for God's sake. Look at David. Look at David standing before Goliath. How can a little teenager watch very strong veterans, military veterans, and this young boy comes to serve food and hears a beast roaring, six fingers and six toes, and David laughs. He says, God, I know something about you that can throw this man. And then he went to Saul. He told his brothers, the brothers said, return home before we beat the living daylight out of you. And then he met Saul. Saul only asked a question. What tribe and what family are you coming from? And then he allowed him. Gave him spares and he said, no, no, no. I wasn't trained with this formula. The God I know does not need all of these things. David is standing before Goliath. Remember, you are intelligent. When David stands before Goliath, you expect him to shake. And David is, David is just imagining his testimony. He was so sure. He said, what will be my reward first? They said, one, you will marry the king's daughter. I mean, what a joy. Who doesn't want that kind of stress taken off you? The stress of call, text, will you marry me? Automatically, in one sweep. Please sit down. Number two, your family will be exempted from tax. Number three, you will be rewarded. David said, let's go. And he stood before Goliath. Goliath felt insulted. He said, I know I will kill you, but am I a dog? Israel, is this your best? You, you can't even respect me. And David said, you keep watching. You come to me with your bows and your spears, but I come to you in a name. I come to you in a name. Let me tell you, there was a revelation that David knew. James 2.26 That anybody without a spirit backing it is dead. David knew that. That a body is only alive based on the spirit that backs it. The size of the body does not matter. When a body without a spirit stands before you is as good as dead and david looked and said there is nothing back in this man let's stand i can go this is cheap victory and then he told him he said mister let me even tell you how i'm going to kill you number one you see this link is going to hit your head then you'll be on the ground and then i will use your own sword cut off your head and then i will lift it up and goliath said i see i can imagine god in heaven say who is this who is this young boy putting pressure on my integrity listen i believe i believe now the bible does not say it, but i believe no matter what direction that stone touched Goliath, he still would have died. It wasn't about the accuracy of the forehead. Any part of him. Goliath was already dead. Hallelujah. And Goliath falls to the ground and that becomes great victory. Your destiny is at the mercy 
of a dimension of God you know. That's why it matters which man of God introduces God to you. And it matters what he tells you about God. For many of us, we have come from a background, well-meaning backgrounds, but we have um, erroneously been taught certain things about God. I know that God is love. He doesn't just have it. He is love. That dimension is a powerful dimension. Because that is, that is the basis of true freedom. So it gives you the opportunity to replace perfection with sincerity. That in the dealings of God with men, when he says men should be perfect, it does not mean flawless. He means mature in understanding. The love of God is a system that grants you access to enjoy liberty working with him. It's not, it's not a basis for licentiousness, but it takes away, it takes away the mentality of an angry boss waiting for you to default. The love of God. What do you know about God? And who taught you what you know about God? And what is the result in the life of that teacher? There is something you can learn about God. There is something you can learn about God, man of God. Hi. That will supply such a dimension of the anointing. Let me tell you this. I do not believe there is any mortal man on earth that can take my life. It's true. Now, it's, you, you don't have to believe it. I'm just sharing with you. Sorry if I sound arrogant. It's true. You need to know the things that have happened in my life to know why I'm saying what I'm saying. Mm -mm. The same way... You see Donald Trump just walking without security. You try to shoot him and see what happens. Use anything, whether a gun or a missile. The military people are not standing there with guns. But you use your initiative to quickly shoot him. And that's when you will know that all you see is not all there is. Number two, I, I believe God loves me. And I truly believe, I, I, I hope I'm right, but forgive me, I believe that God loves me unfairly. Unfairly there, not because he is unfair, but the extent, it's as if he doesn't love any other person like that. It's true. Look at my life. So when your enemies are angry, have a heart for them. Don't hate them. Understand with them. Who will not be angry? Looking at such a life like this. You see, that revelation sponsors love. You too should be in their position and know it's not easy. To see a man that God blesses anyhow. Anything about your life blesses you. What kind of a life is that? Because I have learned that he's a God that can make all things walk together for the good of them that love him and those who are the called according to his purpose are you getting what i'm sharing with you tonight please learn these things i'm doing something to your mind you will walk out of this meeting with confidence knowing that i know something about god when a guy looks at you and you say you are not fine enough you say lord thank you for taking such an irresponsible boy out of my life I, I cannot imagine living with someone with such a deconstructed revelation about me. No. Not that you go back and look at yourself in the mirror and say, is it really true? Ah, ah, you mean I'm like this? No. God who did not hide his jealousy for you, his love. Do you know what it means for someone to be in the position of God to come down and say, I love you? You say, Lord, I don't love you. You say, I will wait. What is more ego stinging than that? I will wait for you till you come to me. Then some guy somewhere comes to make your life miserable in the name of love. No, sir. I believe as a man of God, that when God empowers you, nobody can bring you down. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So when you have this mindset, you expect to be accepted everywhere. 
everywhere. When you hear them say they want to choose 10 people, you start smiling and pray for the remaining nine. It's, it's not pride. It's not pride. It's not pride. It's true. Listen, it is important who construct your belief system. It matters how it is constructed. It matters what about God you are taught. Please listen carefully. Many of us come from many backgrounds just like me. And there are many propositions about God that may be sociologically right. Listen carefully. It may even be from a well-meaning leader, pastor, whatever it is. And now that God has brought you to a very flourishing assembly like this, you must allow yourself to be reoriented. That God gives you another perspective of himself. You will never be able to walk in the anointing if there are some things about God you don't know. I do not believe that any man can meet me and actually make contact with me and his life be remains the same it's impossible i don't believe it i have indoctrinated myself by the spirit to know i am a blessing are we together now yes sir carry that mentality and let somebody sow a seed into your life and watch what happens to him even you you will be surprised and say you mean i'm disanointed what did you say happened you will now sow a seed to your own self to receive that testimony. There's a lot of weakness in the body. A lot of weakness. Spiritual weakness. Mental weakness as a result of something about God that we have been told. If God decides to kill everybody on earth, I'll be the last to die. I know that. Are we together? The anointing, listen. The anointing does not just function vaguely. It depends on these kinds of revelation. Whatsoever he doeth prospers. Because there is a force. God backs him. Hi. Carry this mindset as a minister. And let me see who closes the door of ministry. Where will it come from? Where will it come from? You produce an album and it does not get everywhere. What stopped it? There is a positive entitlement mentality you need to carry to take your portion in this life. I don't walk in life as if I'm at the mercy of anybody. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Don't sit down wishing to be someone else. No. Because there is something you know about God. God has spoken great things. Man of God, know this God. Know this God. Stand on the pulpit and let that God back you. And you watch the wonder that happens in your church in one month. Not two. One month. One month. Apostle, I don't know where my school fees will come from as it is right now. I, I don't even know. I agree with you. I'm not inhuman. I agree with you. But let me tell you something. Where did the raven come from that fed Elijah? Is it not in your Bible? Please, let's look at this. It's either we are lying or this thing is true. It may take time, I know. But if it is God, ba? Halabora susi atakata. Listen, some of you are seated here now. You don't even know it's like an immersion happening to you. You may not know what is smearing on you. You will step out of this place and see things begin to change in your life. And then you know. Listen, listen, listen. 
Let me tell you how God makes men blessings. He makes men blessings by anointing them. You are not a blessing if you are not anointed. It's true. So someone's life is about to be destroyed and you just pass the person. You brought an atmosphere that prolongs his life. He does not even know that's what happened to him. You brought life and ministered to the person. Not formally. You carried an atmosphere that cancelled what would have destroyed him and his family. And he just knows that someone came to buy a bottle of water in this shop. I don't know who. From the time he dropped his hundred naira Customers have come because you brought your atmosphere. This is what I believe. This is what I believe. I know there is a God that sits in heaven. I know that God can arise and judge the works of darkness. I know that. I know that when God decides to lift me, let me tell you, there are enough men to use. If you refuse, you will find another one. I know this. Everywhere I travel, I walk as if my estate is there. I expect something to come from that city. HICC, listen, let me tell you. If you carry this mentality, February will not finish before you start crying for joy. And say, what, what, is, what is happening? What is this? You will come and meet your pastor and say, sir, I, I don't know what happened. Ah. I come from the north and humanly speaking, there is a lot of disadvantage where we come from. You know, I didn't have the privilege of any family to no leverage at all but when God decides to lift you I, I said it during the pastor's conference when God points his jealousy at you you will marvel and wonder at what your life becomes and you see when people begin to make all those noise you know that this is the doing of God and like an usher you can say God you are the one who deserves all the glory and all the honor Someone needs to know something about God tonight. Somebody needs to know, like Sinatra will say that he's a way maker. Listen, listen, listen. For you to understand what a way maker is, you have to look at Julius Berger when they are constructing a road. There are times that all you see is just a mountain and they smile and say, this is where the road will start from. And it, they are pointing at a mountain and they are already describing the dimensions of the road. And then they bring some high-powered gadgets and blow up that mountain and construct roads. So when you say God is a way maker, he looks at your life and says, this mess, this is where the miracle comes out from. Then it will connect to this one. 